Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back to the Crash Story O series, episode three. Um, geez, is it just me or am I running really slowly? <laughs> I don't know. I was just playing, uh, I was working on the Mega Base, so maybe, <laughs> maybe it's just a contrast between having, having the exoskeletons versus not but it does seem awful slow. Okay, so we've got red and green science running. I started to make what I thought was steel uh, so that I could make level two assemblers, but then what I realized is that these are called iron beams, not steel. So I'm not sure if uh, steel, uh, steel processing, there you go. So we're just doing advanced iron processing. I really need to may pay more attention to the descriptions here. Um, but in any case, uh, right now I'm working toward the railway research so that, um, so that we can get trains going because I think, I think it won't be long before these, these patches run out and then we'll need to get more stuff. Now, the other thing that we could do is, um, First of all, we could get a couple more drills on here to pick up these little bits. Let me, uh, let me craft some more drills. There we go. Okay, and then there's um, there's a little bit of iron down here, so we can start we can start mining some of this stuff in between and filtering it. Okay, um, so what we'll need to do is set the output priority. No. Okay. No, never mind. All right. So let's do this. We'll set this output priority to the right and we'll filter out iron ore. Okay. And then that can come over here and merge into there. Okay, so that way we can put we can put drills here. And uh, you know, we'll end up with a combination of different ores, but um, at least we'll be able to do the drilling. And we have two tiles here, but these will all these will pick up. Right, so this, this two tile area is covered by these drills. So I think that's all that we, I think that's all that we need to do. Um, let's move this. Okay, and really all that I'm after here is just to get, to get full coverage on these ore patches. You know, this is more drills than what the, what the belts can handle. Um, but at least this way we'll be, we'll be picking up everything that we can and then we won't have to, we won't have to move the drills around. Okay. Uh, where are my turrets? Here we go. All right. And one there. And then we can put one there and one there. Okay, there we go. And we can get rid of that. And I guess I'll just leave that box there for now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. 
Uh, right, I'm getting sand. That's why I didn't put drills there before. All right, so we'll have to filter out the sand. So why don't we filter out sand and send that to a to a smelting line for glass? All right now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly how much glass gets used, but let's take a look. We need it for lamps. Oh, we need it for circuit boards. Okay, so I think we're going to be making. I think we're going to be needing lots of glass anyway. Okay, so then uh, again, in this case, we'll do we'll do the same thing here. Okay, iron will come out that way, and then the glass or the sand will come out that way. Let me just come up here and pick that up. Okay, get rid of the iron ore, get rid of the copper ore. All right, so we'll set up we'll set up another smelting line to make glass, and I guess I'll just put it next to the copper here. Um, I wish that I had built this further up so that I have more room to run belts from the smelting area. Actually, maybe I'll put the I'll put the glass over here. I think that'll work. All right, so let's do this. Let's uh, swap sides. See, and this is why I don't like using these. <laughs> this is why I don't like using the filter, um, what do you call them? The filter splitters, because I think they just don't work very well. Whenever I use them, they, I just end up getting, getting jams, like we just witnessed. Okay. So let's copy that, and we'll put that right there. Fast inserters. Need more iron plate. Okay. auto deconstruct doing its thing okay and then I'll pick these up uh, this one is going to pick up sand too actually so let me I'll pick that one up just so so I don't mix more than two materials at once drills and then let's see The other thing that we need to do is we need to get copper put up here onto the main bus. So let me do that. Uh, we're getting a little bit of spaghetti. I should probably do a more, 
I should probably do a cleaner bus layout since I'm not doing a speed run here. Um, but we'll do it like this for now. Okay. So I got one belt of iron and one of copper. Now you might say we should have a much bigger bust than that. And I think that would be right. I mean, I'm doing it like that now, but that would be kind of lazy to do it that way. Um, because I think eventually I'm going to need more iron and copper than that. And even though I don't have the resources here now, I will be bringing in more by train. So, um, yeah, so, let, you know, we'll leave this here. And then we'll start, you know, building the main portion of the bus up here. And what is that? I'm getting glass on my iron. How did that happen? Maybe that was from earlier. Uh, yeah, there we go. Looks like I had some sand. Yeah, I had some sand make it through up here. Okay, that's all iron now. Okay, that looks good now. All right, this is gonna make sand too, so let's pick that one up. And then this one I can I'll just bring down one more to get a little more coverage down here. Okay, so let's just let's just do some Um I'll line it up with this. It's going to give me sand and copper. This one's going to give me sand and iron, which means I would need two splitters to sort it out. Um, or, yeah, here's what we'll do. I'll put priority right. That's going to be sand. And then iron and copper can both go up there, which is fine, because I'm already sorting iron and copper up that way. Okay, so we'll bring the sand up there like that. very messy okay and then I'm gonna have the sand or the glass uh, at least for now I'm gonna have go into chests so that we can keep the production going so that we don't stop iron production oh I didn't want to do that I just wanted regular iron chests oh well Okay. And actually, let's make those. Let's make those fast inserters. Okay. Good. So let me grab 
some gears. I think I'm okay on circuits. I'll grab a few more anyway. I'm doing good on belts and inserters. Okay. Um, it looks like we can maybe use even more labs. So let me make another, let me make another eight labs. Because ideally we will <clears throat> consume the science as quickly as we're making it. Um, and these down here, I think we can get by with slow inserters. I don't think we need the fast ones except up on top where we're pulling from the belts. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, let's put... Um, okay, after this, let's do fluid handling. Um, advanced storage. For that, we're going to need steel. Um, how do we do the actual steel research? Okay, we need to do silicon processing. So let's add that to the queue, since that seems to unlock some stuff. Um, and then we'll do oil processing. Oh, yeah, let's do steel processing. Then we can do the advanced storage. And then we'll decide what to do after that. I'm not really sure. Let's do automobilism so that we can move around. Okay. Jeez, those labs are slow to make. All right, let me gla grab some glass so that I can make more lights. Here we go. And I will place a few lights around. Even though I've got the lighting from the power poles, it's not really strong. Okay. <clears throat> so as far as the bus goes, um, you know, am I going to need like four copper and four iron? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to need. Um, and I don't have hell mod, so I can't really calculate it. Uh, so I'm just gonna guess. You know, when you when when you play Angel Bob, um, usually because you have a lot more different ingredients, you don't need quite so much iron and copper. So maybe what I'll do is let's just plan on two copper and two iron. Okay, and we can even we can even just do this for now, just to uh, whoops, just to fill out the belts. Right. Okay. So two copper, two iron. Okay, and then let's see one, two. Um, let's check on that. <clears throat> what is that? Reinforced iron. Yeah, iron is used in everything, I know. What is the reinforced iron used in? Or whatever that's called. Uh, oh, iron beam. It doesn't show up anywhere. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's under steel. 
Okay, what is Iron Beam used in? It's used in assembly machines, cargo wagons, engines. Okay, lots of stuff. All right, so we could have this be uh, Iron Beams. All right, we could have this be a steel plate. We could have that one be glass. Uh, let's see, do we need stone? Do we need stone brick? for lots of stuff. Yeah, for some stuff. Uh, what about the walls? Are those in blue science packs? They're military science packs, right? Okay, so let's put stone brick on the bus as well. Um, maybe even stone itself. We need it for rails. We can turn it into sand. Uh, we can turn it into various ores. Okay, so let's leave that one blank, and then let's do let's do stone and stone brick over here. Okay, so this is starting to give us a layout on the main bus. Now for the reinforced iron, I'm going to need to draw, I'm going to need to pull iron away from here. Um, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh well, it is what it is. So we'll do one here. That could be for the here. Let me just pick all this up. Okay, so this one could, oh no, I can't. Uh, yeah, because I need iron plates to do that, which means I need to build it like a steel line. All right, well, I need 23 fast inserters. Oh, one thing I forgot to point out. Um, is that the ratio of copper wire machines to circuit machines is different from vanilla. Um, before I was doing one-to-one, -one, but then I realized that we make three copper cable every half second, which is six per second, and these require three per second. So here we can do one into two, uh, which is a, you know, a completely different ratio than, than what you have in the in the vanilla game. Uh, so I did make that correction. And then I also made some uh, level two assemblers, which we could, we could use to upgrade all of these to speed up the production a bit. That's why I was making those iron beams in the first place. So I could craft those. All right, so I got some more of those building and then we'll we'll upgrade those machines. Okay, um, so let's get some, we can get stone going. Yeah, so let me, actually I'm gonna tear this up um, and we'll, we'll make the steel production there, which will require the double row of furnaces. have to split off some of the iron 
to there, which means that we won't be getting a full belt of iron plates. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> now I'm using up all of the iron that I've got. Well, I guess that's all right as long as the science production is getting done. Okay. All right, so we can use this for stone bricks. Make a few more drills. that. stone as well uh, so what I'll do here is I'll put another splitter I'll just use that one belts so we'll send half of the stone for stone brick and the other half for just plain old stone all right that's the glass Gonna have to rebuild some of this stuff as we go. Since I'm kind of playing this mod blind, uh, there's a much lower chance that I'm gonna build things optimally the first time. Okay, and I've got these flipped around, but that's okay. And then I think I should stop buffering the glass. There we go. We'll put it on the belt instead. Okay. Um, and now that I've got the rail researched, I think we should start building, I think we should start building some rail. Oh, but for that I'm gonna need the iron, right? Yeah, I need the iron beams. Okay, so let's, uh, I'll build that over here on this side. I should have enough room to spaghetti it out of here. Actually, let me just check and make sure we have a one-to-one -one ratio. So, <clears throat> 
16 seconds, three iron plates. Yeah. Three iron plates takes 3.2 times three takes 9.6. And 16 divided by 9.6 is 1 and 2 thirds. So this steel layout is going to be 1 and 2 thirds times 2 is 3.3. .3. So it's like three to five. <laughs> three to five ratio of iron plates to reinforced iron. How can I do a three to five ratio? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, yeah, you really can't. At least not very cleanly. What if you do it like this? Um, hmm. That's a tough one. Let's see, three to five is what? Maybe one to two would be close enough. Five divided by three is 1.667, okay. Uh, two to three would be 1.5, which would be closer. Maybe it would be better just to send the plates in by themselves. but I'm barely making enough plates as it is. I need more iron. Okay, well, we'll get more iron. Uh, let's see. Well, we could do... We could just do it like this. Have two belts. Okay, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, so let me uh, let me move it over to this other side instead. Okay, we'll make it here. Let's get rid of some trees. Okay, so there's one, two, three. Four, five, and then one, two, three. Yeah, so we could do it like that. This wouldn't use up a full belt of ore. Uh, we would need two more, which would be like another two or three. some inserters. I'll just build one side of this, one side of this uh, to get started. Okay, now in these we're going to need the fast inserters. on the output.
Okay. Um. kind of mess that up. Oh, I can make a red I can make a red underground. Okay. There we go. Now it's long enough. Just gonna put some fuel in these. All right, so we'll try with just this one side and make sure it works the way that I'm expecting it to. And then these will be the outputs, of course. Well, I guess I should take it, I should take the iron out after it's filtered, not before. So these three should be enough to power those five, or to feed those five. And these three should be enough to feed these five. So we'll let it get started and run for a minute or two and make sure that that's actually what happens. It'll take a few minutes to settle out because at first, uh, these furnaces are going to take in twice what they need to make one. Oh, um, yeah, this one needs to be there. And actually, let's put that one there. I put this one here so that this furnace could grab it. Otherwise, these three would only be feeding the four on top, and that wouldn't be enough. Okay, so they're all going now except for this last one. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like the ratio is correct. And this makes it easy to get fuel into to these. So I think what I'll do is... Um, I mean, we could mirror this, of course, but I don't know if I necessarily need a full line. I'll just leave it like this for now, but I'll reserve space to double it on the other side. Because right now I'm more interested in having the iron for iron plate. Oops.
There we go. Okay. Um, so now that we have this, we can start to make rail because for that we need stone beams and sticks. Even though we're not going to have much iron plate, it'll be rather slow. But anyway, we need to make the rail. Um, I mean, we could we could stop doing science for a little bit. That would free up resources so that we can build a rail network and bring in some trains. Maybe that would be the best thing to do at this point. Um, <clears throat> I'll do another. I'll do another level of the weapons upgrades. Okay, and then let's start building some rail. Where is it? There we go. Actually, we'll do that for rail and we'll make this one the iron stick. This will be iron. And this one we can do a mixed belt of stone and reinforced iron. There we go. Okay, those should be fast inserters, I suppose. And we could put another slow one there. cap each of these at a thousand ten stacks each that should be enough to get things started I don't want to use huge quantities of resources for this right now uh, we're doing okay on power all right let's see where our closest iron patch is I think it's over here all right so we'll call that iron one Yeah, that's the closest one. So it's good that we have this uh, super amazing radar because, well, there's this one too. I don't, that's not any closer though. And then maybe we can use maybe we can use this area down here for train stations. I could move that coal line so it's not in the way, but we can bring trains in here um, above the power line. Or maybe we just yeah, we'll bring them in over here. I'll just bring them in here to the left or to the right of that coal line. Uh, and then we can feed the ore into the smelters. 
Um, and we could put, always put other smelters like over here facing horizontally as well. This is a little, this is a little too compact. I think I should have spaced it out better, but, um, we can make it work. And eventually these patches will be used up and then we can, we'll have more room there to put other stuff. But for now, I think we're in good shape. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for watching everybody. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.